Welcome everyone to another tutorial in C Sharp. This is how to make a progress bar. I made one of these tutorials previously. It was entitled C Sharp Graphics How to Make a Pro or Progress or Health Bar. Um, so yeah, I'm making a better one because that one was kind of low quality. And so here we go. I'm going to just show you what I've made already. As you can see this sort of fills up. Now the reason why it blinks is because I didn't I didn't double buffer it, so it just draws it directly to the screen. It doesn't um, draw it to an image before drawing it to the screen. So yeah, um, so if we go here to progress bar, we can look at this and go okay. We've got a brush. This is for color. Rectangle. This is for where on the screen what size. This is the bitmap that draws it to and the graphics that it draws, so that we get um, an image returned. This is the max value, and this is where it's currently at. So these values are all assigned, or at least most of them, in here. As you can see, we have a bar color, uh, area, max value, and we assign those here. With the bitmap, we want to make it a little bit larger than the area width and height, so it has some extra padding on the side just in case we end up drawing. Because if you do it just width and height, and I'll show you here, it can sometimes cut off things. So we'll just go ahead and run that and see if that, it might not do anything. Yeah, there we go, it cut off this edge. Okay, that blinking is really bothering me. I'm going to change that. So yeah, we want a little bit extra on each of these. In fact, probably height is maybe the only one you have to have there. All right, and then we have something for set, setting the current value, or basically the current percentage that it's filled up, or fill point giving the corner X so that we know where to draw it on the screen. And um, here's where the magic happens, well sort of. <laughs> we get the percentage of the current value that has been filled up to over the max. That's going to give us a percentage of the actual fill amount. Then we find out what the actual width of the rectangle we need to fill in is to represent it by doing percent times R width and R is the rectangle. And then we go down here, we clear, and we draw right here. Okay, and then if you look, oops, don't want to save it. If you look over here, you can see I've got a graphics object signed to this. I get graphics, graphics here. Okay, and then we got a progress bar where it's green. It's at X and Y of 10 and 10. It's 200 wide and 50 tall, and its max value is 100. Now, since this is a less than sign, we need to set this to 101 in order to fill it up so that it goes all the way up to the value of 100 instead of just 99. We do a thread and sleep so it doesn't go so fast you can't see it. And then we set the current amount to I, which is the current fill amount, which it uses to calculate how far to fill up. We clear, and we draw. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get rid of that blinking because that was bothering me. Um, so what we're going to do is go and go um, underneath here, uh, graphics, temp, and then um, bitmap. BTM, or we'll just do BT. They, well, it doesn't really matter, but anyways, is equal to new bitmap uh, area. Actually, well, gotta have the, the width and the height here, and so that's 250, 200, and comma 50. And of course we want a little bit extra, so one, one there. And this, I'm actually gonna move down. And call it, in fact, you know what? Let's just make this screen width and screen height. Here we go. Temp equals um, graphics dot from image. ET, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, do all this as temp, ah. <laughs> temp, and temp, so we're drawing to image first. And then what we're going to do is um, draws all this stuff. And we'll do g.draw image. And we'll call it ET because it's the same image that's up here. And then point point dot empty because that's zero zero 
And I think that should fix the, the flickering. Yes, that appears to have fixed the flickering. So, um, all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this helps you develop your games and your applications that need progress bars. And um, this is kind of like a custom progress bar. There is a built-in progress bar thing that you can work with. But yeah, anyways, um, leave a rating, comment, and uh, any other questions. And I'll talk to you guys or show you guys more stuff later. All right. Bye.